Welcome to the Potter Blog site, December 5th, 2013. The Orphan Flu, hidden H7N9, human to human spread in Hong Kong via primary school children, and common uh, bus routes. There's 440 kids in this school. This particular school is undergoing an extreme amount of uh, scrutiny from the uh, Hong Kong authorities. Uh, daily temperature checks and logs on all children. Uh, the H7N9 maid, one of her employer's children, attends this school. Now, there's a very interesting series of events that have occurred here in schools right around this one. And it has been investigated, or is, in, is being investigated, by the uh, Hong Kong Public Health Authority. There have been influenza-like illness outbreaks, pneumonia, gastrointestinal systems, and even deaths in primary age school children in this district. Um, uh, the latest one we we're aware of, uh, a group of children came down with symptoms on November 11th, and a three-year-old boy died of pneumonia on November 17th. Now we actually suspect that the maid caught the H7N9 infection from the children and not from her visit to the mainland. And let's go into this in a little bit more detail here. And we wrote it up in detail on our webpage and we have uh, all the uh, supporting links in here uh, so you can scope it out for yourself. Uh, there's been a strange combination and concentration of influenza-like illness, pneumonia, and gastrointestinal symptoms in primary school children in the Kowloon section of Hong Kong. There was a resultant death on November 17th with a symptom onset on the 11th. The pneumonia was identified as streptococcus, and, streptococcus sorry, and we suspect it was a co-infection with H7N9. Uh, gastrointestinal symptoms are also strongly associated with H7N9. Co-infection is suggested as the streptococcus pneumonia rates and deaths have been unusually high in this group for the last few months. Such an increase in amplitude would be expected with an H7N9 co-infection. Now here's the catcher. Such co-infection would likely preclude H7N9 testing and make symptomatic diagnosis of H7N9 highly unlikely. So if a kid comes in with flu-like symptoms and they have pneumonia. First test, one of the first tests they're going to do is for the strep pneumonia. If it comes back positive, they're not going to do further tests for H7N9. They just won't because uh, one of the diagnostic reporting um, systems basically uh, uses this sort of as a uh, to preclude H7N9. But here's the thing: is that uh, Children who have influenza infections are orders of magnitude more likely to come down with strep pneumonia. So this particular combination serves to hide and disguise the presence of H7N9. Now, as we said earlier, if H7N9 does become a deadly pandemic, it may be called the orphan flu as the children will infect the adults and leave themselves orphans. Now we've got a map here of this Kowloon School District and the important thing to note is, is uh, location A is the uh, palatial state where the maid work and the family lives. Uh, location D is the school where one of the children attends. And location C and B here are other schools right along the same bus route that uh, where uh, children have died, outbreaks of influenza-like illness, gastrointestinal illnesses. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. See how well this zoom works here. You can see how close these schools really are. The schools see here is where the gastrointestinal outbreak was at the same time period. Now, if you remember uh, a recent case. Of H7N9 in mainland, there was a strong indication of uh, gastrointestinal issues associated with it. And in birds, H7N9 is primary gastrointestinal. Uh, this location, I believe, is this location of the school where the children died from pneumonia. So there's a significant concern here 
here's source information links significant significant concern of hidden H7N9 spread and they would be unlikely to find it as uh, their diagnostics would tell them basically to stop looking for it once they detected the, the strep pneumonia and then the other thing that really just compounds it is apparently H7N9 is extremely difficult to detect 